What's up Airsofters? Today on Airsoft Atlanta TV we're going to be doing a product highlight of the Action Army VSR-10, L96, and Type 96 products that we have here on the website and in store. First we're going to be taking a look at specifically the VSR-10 compatible parts. Now these are for Tokyo Marui and Tokyo Marui clones. Pretty much any of the clones that are based off of the specific Tokyo Marui VSR-10 can work with these Action Army parts as far as the compatibility goes. Examples of these parts include the specialized trigger right here, 90 degrees with its own reinforced piston that comes with it for the 90 degrees. We also do have the reinforced piston for the standard uh, trigger system that comes in that's the 45 degree. Then we also have cylinder kits, uh, type or barrels, all kinds of other cosmetic ones too. We have these are the, the bolt handles and stuff. We have accessories for putting on aftermarket suppressors, hop-up chambers, the rubber bucking itself, and also to note with the hop-up chambers for the VSR-10, we do have compatibilities with like the Maple Leaf, the KM head, and nine ball buckings as well. There's also, Action Army does provide all kinds of different spring upgrades as well as different spring guides. Moving on, we're going to be talking about the differences between the L96 AWS versus the Type 96 parts for compatibility. The Tokyo Marui L96 AWS is going to be the L96 that has the magazine in the correct, it has the removable magazine that looks like it actually belongs into the weapon, whereas the Type 96 is going to be that flush magazine style, so it's going to have just that smooth bottom that's more likened to the VSR-10 magazine styles, but um, if you're looking at the Type 96 is that little box magazine that just fits right up into it. That is the Type 96 versus the L96 AWS, which is going to be the one that looks like the actual rifle with the magazine in the correct position. This difference is actually going to be very, very important when you're looking at getting an L96 or Type 96 when it comes to the compatibility. The Tokyo Marui L96 AWS is going to fit in the Tokyo Marui no problems. The clones, that's going to be a little issue right there. You get that's going to be a little specifics on that, like because each clone is going to have a little bit different variation when it comes to the AWS. When it comes to the Type 96, this one is going to be compatible with the UTG Shadow Ops and clones of that variety. With the AGM being the well, the black sheep of the bunch. The black sheep of the bunch meaning that the AGM really doesn't have any aftermarket parts compatible for that. While it is one of the cheaper Type 96s to get in to the like, sniping game, it doesn't have any aftermarket parts. So sorry, the Action Army parts will not fit into that. Differences between the L96 AWS and the Type 96 are not limited to just the trigger. It'll also be within the cylinder sets and with hop-up chambers and all that. So pretty much that's when you're looking at Type 96 versus the L96 uh, AWS, you have to specifically get the one for that system. Back to the VSR-10, we're gonna be looking at the hop-up chamber. The hop-up chamber from Action Army can take a myriad of Action Army, Maple Leaf, KM head, and nine ball buckings, like mentioned earlier. PDI does have a conversion kit that'll do uh, AEG buckings and stuff inside of your VSR-10 or your Type 96 or what have you with your sniper rifle. While those are really cool kits and makes it a lot easier for AEG users to convert over to sniping and with their base knowledge of hop-ups and stuff like that. When it comes to the VSR-10 hop-ups, they're thicker with their rubber and so they're able to handle those heavier weight BBs, in my opinion, a lot better than your standard AEG bucking would. Specifically talking about the buckings, the Action Army bucking for the VSR-10 is, they have one specific one, so any of the other degrees and stuff like that, the hardnesses and stuff, they only have one style. The nine ball is going to be our most popular when it comes to the VSR-10 buckings. And the little known one, or a little bit more of a hipster one if you want to say, is the KM head one. This one is the 55 degree. And then also the Maple Leaf. This one is a very, very fantastic bucking right here. This is the 70 degree one. Other really interesting parts to highlight when it comes to the Action Army is going to be the VSR-10 bolt handles. Now this one is obviously silver and it's really cool. It's a uh, very nice metal build, really solid. 
and it also has these rubber o-rings right here for extra grip so it gives you that nice little stylish look and gives you a little bit of separation from all the other regular vsr 10s that will be on the field so you have that customization option so this is the action army vsr 10 cylinder set right here now something to note it is a coated cylinder uh, so it's a nice smooth non-stick <laughs> non-stick cylinder right here uh, one thing to note about the cylinder heads is that this uh, action army stuff is in taiwan and so the japanese parts the pdi parts and stuff like that as far as cylinder heads go are not compatible with this particular cylinder kit so what you'll have to do is use the action army different cylinder parts if you want to change that cylinder head but anyway with that being said it's still a really nice kit out of the box anyway it's already going to be an upgrade from the stock one that's in your if you're looking for better performing and stuff cylinder kit what i have in my hands as far as display is concerned is going to be the m170 we do have m130s m150s action army like seen earlier does have the type bore barrels this is the 6.01 430 millimeter for the vsr 10 aeg versions of these barrels also do exist from action army while this one is specifically the vsr 10 so if any of you tech heads out there want to get some really nice Action Army parts, well, you know where to go. AirsoftAtlanta.com Thank you for clicking on my video. I would assume that you like the Airsoft. Would you like to purchase an Airsoft? I hear that airsoftatlanta.com is a pretty good place. Is this the airsoft?